At GFS, we want to make delivery as simple and easy as possible for our customers. That's why we've made some improvements to Seeker, which we know are important to you. Seeker is now mobile and responsive, which means you can track and trace parcels from a choice of mobile devices. We've made the interface more user-friendly, so it's easier and faster for you to navigate the system. We've standardised scanning descriptions across all carriers to make them consistent and easier to understand. And we've changed the URL to seeker.gfsdeliver.com. But don't worry, you don't need to change anything you're doing. If you use the old URL, you'll be automatically redirected. Your login details are still the same and all your bespoke reports remain intact. Here's a short user tutorial to help you get the best out of Seeker and introduce you to some of those changes. 1. How to track a parcel Once you've logged into GFS Seeker, you'll see a shipment search page. This can also be accessed on the left-hand menu. Here you can search for your parcel. You can search by consignment number, parcel number, shipment reference, postcode and more. You can also use advanced options using the plus button. Here you can search using the name of the recipient, consignment reference, company name, country and other options. When you've filled out the search criteria you're using, click Get Results. When you've found the shipment, you'll be able to see the carrier, delivery service, the consignment number, shipping reference and latest scan information. Anything highlighted in blue, you can click on to view more detailed information. You can also press the plus button to see the address delivery details and further options. To track the parcel, click on the consignment number. Here you will find detailed information about where the parcel is in transit. Once delivered, you can click on the scan info to see the scan signature from the carrier. 2. How to raise a query. If you have any issues with a particular consignment, you can raise a query here. Just input your contact details and preferred method of contact. Choose a category and fill in as much information as possible. Once submitted, you'll get a ticket number so you can track your query. If you want to manage or keep track of your queries, there are a few ways to do this. You can search via the consignment number to see if there's been a response, or you can go to Manage Queries. You can then search the queries by date, ticket ID or consignment number. Or you can just press Search to look through all your queries. Once you've found the query, you can reopen it or add further comments. 3. How to book a collection. You can book a collection by going to Collections on the left-hand menu. Choose a carrier, service and collection type. You can choose between Return, collected shipment to your main office address, Third party, collected shipment going between two locations, neither of which is your main office address, From you, shipment is being collected from your main office address. Fill in your preferred method of contact. Book or email. Email for the collection address, receiver email, email for the receiver address. You'll also need to fill in the amount of parcels, collection date and consignment weight. You can also provide any additional collection instructions. Next, fill in the details for collection and where it will be delivered to. You can review all the details before you submit and book the collection. Under the Collections tab, you can also search and view your collections. 4. How to deal with exceptions. Action Manager enables you to respond to exceptions raised by the carrier or GFS customer service. You can find Actions Manager on the left-hand menu. Here you'll see what exceptions require action, like address queries or refusals. You can click on the consignment and work through the issues. You can see the tracking information, shipping information and the history. You can update the query via the drop-down options to resolve the query. In the Attention tab, you'll see queries that don't require your action but are for your information, such as return to sender or delivery attempts. If you've any questions, don't forget we're here to help. Contact your GFS account manager.